Viewing your YouTube wrap is really easy to do. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. So without further ado, the first thing you're going to want to do is when you're on the YouTube website, we actually don't want to go there. We want to go to Google and you just want to type in the words video recap like so. When you type this in, you can currently see this top website called at viewodyssey.com has a link called view YouTube rewap. So you just want to click on this. Once you're on this website, all you want to do is you actually need to sign in or create an account. Just click on sign in in the top right hand corner, click on login with Google. You actually need to log in with your YouTube account, the email that is associated with your YouTube account. So you can actually view your top videos of this year. And once you've actually created an account, what you're going to want to do is you just want to click on it's my first time guide me through the process. If you've never done this before. And once you've clicked on this, you actually want to launch this website because you actually have to allow this website to actually access some certain things within Google if you do want to view your wrapped for YouTube this year. And once you've actually clicked on launch website, you want to scroll down and you actually want to select this YouTube box right here, allowing YouTube to access your Google account so you can actually view your rewinds and click on multiple formats from here. And you actually want to change down, scroll down, and you want to change this format from HTML to JSON file. As you can see, it's the second from the bottom under history. Click on JSON and click on OK from here. Now, once you've done that, you just want to click on all YouTube data included. And you want to deselect all and only select history unless you want your data for YouTube kids or like posts like that. I'm just going to click on OK because this is the one that's worked best for me and works best for just creating your wrapped in general, click on continue and you would ignore all this. Just leave all the settings the same way they are and click on create export like so. Now, when you do that, it'll actually just give you a little summary on the date it was created and the time it was created. Now, once you've actually created the export, what you want to do is you just click on the manage exports option. And once you click on this, you can actually see we can simply get this file just by clicking on this option right here. Click on it. And as you can see, it will verify it's you because it doesn't want to make sure you're a scammer, you know, click on continue and you just want to click on the allow option right here. And once you've actually gotten the file, it'll be a zip file on your computer like so you simply just want to go back to this site like so the video recap and you can just spam through all of these arrows and actually just go over to the upload watch history or just click on the home icon right here. Click on I already have my data. Let me upload it. And once you click on this, you can actually upload your watch history, which is this zip file right here. It's like it, click on upload and as you can see simply create this slideshow and show you how many videos you have watched this year and how many creators you have watched this year and as you can see i have watched a lot more videos than majority of the people on youtube and you can simply just slide through this nine page slideshow and it'll actually just show you creators that you have watched a lot this year this is actually awesome honestly